of uh, four men injured during maneuvers after controlling the fire in Matanza. In Guatemala, social organizations, students and peace of movements call for this Thursday a second day of protests against the government corruption. Thousands of Sudanese protesters rallied on Thursday against last year's new military coup to demand a civil and rule and better life conditions. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrero from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We'll be with the news. Stay with us. From Cuba, the director of health of the province of Matanza, Luis Armando Juana, made out assessments of the situation of the victims of the fire at the super tanker base. The doctor announced that a 24-year-old professional firefighter, Eliezer Correa Aguilar, died on Wednesday night, becoming the second victim of the fire. The young gunman was injured when he responded to the emergency on August 5 and had been hospitalized in critical conditions since then. In other statements, uh, the Minister of Public Health, Jose Portal Miranda, added that it is still not possible to access the area to identify the romance of missing persons, uh, but it is probable that in the next 48 hours, conditions uh, will allow it. It was also known that health authorities will offer the daily balance of the health situation of the victims of the accident. We continue in Cuba. He then asked a recent report, the provincial health director of Matanza, Luis Armando Juan, confirmed the data of a firefighter, which brings the total number of death to two. We have two deceased last night at the Faustino Perez Hospital. The patient who had been critically unstable since his admission passed away. His name is Elier Correa Aguilar. He's 24 years old, from the province of Granma, a firefighter by profession. We regret this sensitive loss for his family and friends, and we send our condolences. In Cuba, President Miguel Diaz Canel brought out an official tweet uh, giving condolences to the relative of other dead firefighters in the fire at the supertanker base in Matanzas. Please, Er Correa, young officers of the Cuban Fire Department, and other heroes of the city in Matanza died last night after several days in critical conditions. Thanks to the poorness of men like him, the fire was brought under control. Condolences to his loved ones. Authorities and specialists assure that a fire at the super tanker base in Matanza is under control while the work continues to finish extinguishing the fired reduces. The work groups of the Fire Department of Cuba, Mexico and Venezuela have advanced in the last 24 hours to maintain control of the fire, the first tank that caught fired and the secured the surrounding areas. At the meeting, two evaluated tanks that have been carried out by these pools of experts from three countries. Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canela gave an account of the effort made by the teams of control the situation. Venezuelan authorities, worker groups and social movements went to the Argentinian embassy in Caracas to protest against the, the illegal seizures of the Venezuelan aircrafts and the detention of its crew. During the demonstration, the deputy to the National Assembly, Pedro Carreño, delivered a document to the ambassador of the Argentina in Caracas, Oscar Loverde, in which he expressed his rejection of the retention of an aircraft from and trust through outline uh, a subsidiary of Combiasa. In the text, the Venezuelan authorities condemned the illegal kidnapping of their crew members, and at the same time, they urged the build uh, bridges of the dialogue with the Argentinian government to free their nationals. During the, the actions relative of the crew, members also made a statement and asked the Argentinian people to support uh, their demands. During the debate, it was also agreed to make it known to the representation of the Argentinian government in the embassy accredited in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela in order to serve as a communication channel with this government and to express the wishes and desires of the government and the Venezuelan people in the face of a retained vessel and the illegal kidnapping of Venezuelan compatriots 
who are part of the crew. The Minister of Transportation of Venezuela, Ramon Velasquez, emphasized that it, uh, he getting out of the Venezuelan airplane is evidence of the violation of international law and by national agreements. We have been approaching the Argentinian institutions and we have also approached the civil aviation organization. So it is evident and more than proven that there is a violation of international law as typified in the Chicago Convention of 1944 where countries commit themselves to comply with international regulations. The bilateral agreements have been violated and we're always exposing our ethical reasons and our truth as people and as airline represented by Emtrasur. We also take advantage of this moment to deliver to the ambassador of the Republic of Argentina the communique and the feeling of the workers of Conviasa and Emtrasur, where we exhort to build that bridge with the Argentinian people. Social organizations mobilized in several Brazilian cities to reject the policies of President Jair Bolsonaro and his attacks on the electoral system. According to international media, the initiative is due to the concern over the defense of elections and the sovereignty of the popular vote, threatened by political violence, misinformation campaigns, and attacks on institutions. Among the groups that mobilize are the Brazilian Popular Front People Without a Fear, the student movements, and the Lens Rural Workers Movement, which also joined the various mobilizations of the students' organizations in defense of the education. The criticisms against the head of states are also due to his recent statement against some institutions, including the Superior Electoral Court. We'll take a short break now, join us again after this. Welcome back to From the South. In Guatemala, social organizations, students, and peace of movements called for this Thursday a second date of protests against the government corruption. Demonstrators began gathered at the entrance of the University of San Carlos after the start of the march that aims to demand an end on the complicity of the state with corruption and solution of the economic crisis that was worsening under the administration of President Alejandro Yamate. The mobilizations uh, made uh, businesses uh, with COVID-19 vaccines, uh, mismanagement of the pandemic, increase in poverty and the high cost of living. They will also demand uh, from their government uh, serious uh, and effective economic actions uh, to sterilize uh, the case of basic food basket. This Wednesday, the Second Federal Court of Buenos Aires sentenced the life in prison of three repressors per of the dictatorship cast off uh, accused of crimes against humanity committed in the 6th Infantry Regiment of Mercedes. Uh, Martin Eduardo Sanchez Sini, Emilio Pedro Morello, and Horacio Linari must go to prison immediately for known the life fall deprivation of liberty, determined on homicide committed between March and July 1976 against 37 people, eight of whom were murdered or disappeared. In the same uh, proceeding, uh, the court ordered uh, the immediate release of former second lieutenant uh, Luis Alberto Bruna and former first corporal uh, Ruben Osomar Andrade Pablo John lawyer of the victims, informed at the end of the trial that the testimonies of the teacher Rocio Angelas Martinez children provide their evidence as witnesses. Tonight, Martin Eduardo Sanchez Zini, Emilio Pedro Morello, and Horacio Linari, that is three army officers belonging at that time to the Mercedes Regiment, who participated in a series of events in June and July 76, were tried and sentenced. Those events culminated with murders and kidnappings at the PRTERP printing plant in San Andres, and they were also part of a tax fork that went there with orders to kidnap and kill. Journalist Carmilo Garcia, son of activist and teacher Rocio Martinez of Barbola, whose testimony and that of her sister Barbara Garcia was used to carry out a sentence to recall the restoring importance of justice. Tratando de pensar 
trying to think of my mother and now that I think about it, it's clear to me that somewhere she must be smiling. Like in that forum, we have her smiling. That's how my mother must be. I believe we survived just to live this moment. The International Energy Agency confirmed that the Organization of All Exporting Countries and it not associated allies, not as OPEC Plus, uh, comply of 123% of the oil uh, could agreement they reach uh, last July. The report uh, presented by the organization this Thursday in Paris showed that the OPEC oil uh, production grew by the 260. 100,000 uh, barrels uh, per day, uh, and uh, they its uh, partners uh, by the 220,000 uh, barrels per day. Uh, productions in the 19 uh, countries that uh, make up the oil equipment uh, reach uh, by the 570,000 barrels per day. According to the account of the agency, they depend on, uh, on the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, the analysis was 2.7 billion barrels per day uh, below the authorized levels. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un declared victory in the battle against the COVID-19 pandemic, ordering the lifting of uh, maximum any epidemic measures imposed in Maine. During a meeting uh, with doctors and health authorities, the leader said uh, while uh, lifting the maximum any pandemic measures, the country must maintain a strong any pandemic barrier and testify in the any epidemic work until the end of the global health crisis. Three months after the first case was confirmed, the government authorities have reported no new suspected cases. Kenyan Uno also stated that the nation's official death toll of 74 people is an unprecedented miracle compared to it with those others in the country. We have more news coming up after this financial break, so don't go away. Welcome back to from the South. Thousands of Sudanese protesters rallied on Thursday against uh, last year the military coup uh, to demand civil and rule and better life conditions. Uh, most readers in downtown Khartoum reportedly shouted for the army to go back to their uh, barricades uh, and also demand safety and security and free health care and education. Sudan has been uh, rolling for a political unrest, uh, a sprawling economic crisis, and a broad security breakdown. And since uh, Army Chief Adel Fatal al Buhar led a coup last October 25, uh, which the uh, opening uh, and uh, transitions to civil rule uh, launched after the 2019 Austrian strongman Omar al Busard, uh, who were in there through the uh, is the coup. Since the coup, Sudan has experienced almost weekly practices and violence crackdown that has so far killed at least 116 people. I see these initiatives as trying to divert people away from the effort that the resistance committees have been doing throughout these past months. The committees have put together charters, even committees in the region. The main solution is for all political forces to gather around the charters prepared by the committees, support it, and the committees become the leaders of any initiative to go forward. Any of these initiatives does not represent us as resistance committees in any way. We put these people in the lead to bring us justice, and none of them did, and we will only bring justice through the streets. At least one million people in Somalia have been displaced by this year that draw faces that nation, according to data from the United Nations. Agencies or few organizations report that the drone in Somalia has reached unprecedented uh, levels and is already affecting uh, at least uh, one million people registered as displaced. The director of the Norwegian Council for Refugees in Somalia, Mohamed Abdi, referred uh, to the urgency of increasing the financing of international aid in view of the generalization of hunger throughout the country. Meanwhile, uh, 
EU age this year is a representative in Somalia, Marguerite Gizes a drill attention to the effect of climate change and rising food prices as a result of the conflict in Ukraine. Authorities in Mali have declared a three day of mourning beginning on Thursday after a period of terror had killed thousands of soldiers over the weekend. In the most uh, deadly incident, 42 soldiers were killed and 22 others injured in an attack on Sunday near the town of Tetsid in the Gaon region. The government said that the complex and coordinated attack involved drones, car bombs, and uh, artillery, black men, and uh, affiliate of the Islamic State group. Uh, later that day, the five police officers were killed when extremists attacked a police station in the town of Sona near the border with Burkina Faso. Data after the attack, militants uh, belonging to the Al Qaeda leaning group uh, Jimin uh, clan responsibility. Kenyans are still awaiting for the results of a close presidential elections as the Electoral Commission is expected to announce the winner on Thursday. Both Halin continued in Nairobi and across the country as people awaited the winner of the presidential elections. Other the elective seats, such as the members of the county assembly, senators, governors, members of parliaments, and women representatives, were being announced. Tuesday's elections saw a turnout notably lower than recent years. These elections face two main candidates, longtime opposition leaders, Raleigh and Diga, who is in his fifth attempt for the presidency, and the current deputy president, William Ruto. In Lebanon, a man who say been, uh, had uh, been uh, frozen by his bank external branch office gone in Hena to demand uh, the return of his money. The man uh, took hostages and threatened to the, set himself on fire to the man uh, refused to give him his money. The man, uh, who is a uh, 40 year old, has $290,000 saved uh, in his account. But in this midst of the country, the economic crisis, he only been allowed to withdraw $1,000 over the last three years. The man needed the money to fund a medical treatment for his father. The president of the bank, Climate Association, went to the bank branch office to the negative place cap ordered and they withheld from burning into the building. Telesur English continues to grow. It is seen on our in Europe, and you can already from your cable dealer or to yourself. These parameters that you see on the screen are in place in July the 1st, and quite soon for the changes will be implemented for the signal in the Middle East and Africa. Now, more than ever, the world connects to us, and our stories are being heard all around the globe. This is multi-platform. will continue to provide trustful content to oppose the Yemeni media's narrative and our faithfulness to our audience. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. We have come to the end of this news brief, but you can find this and many other stories on our website at telesurenglish.net. You can also join us on our socials. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram as well. Telesur English, I'm from the South. I'm Ana Marrero, and thank you for watching.